Travis Kelsey's Kansas City home had happy fairy lights that cast a warm glow on the couple sitting on the couch. Travis was very relaxed after the off-season. He had a mug of chamomile tea in his hands to warm them up. Taylor, who is always coming up with new ideas, was sitting next to him with a thoughtful frown on her face. Taylor began, I need to tell you something, but her voice was shaky. Travis put down his tea and turned to face her directly when he sensed that she was feeling uneasy. It made him jump when she looked at him with her blue eyes shaking with worry. It could be fun to date a big star, but being open and vulnerable wasn't usually one of them. Anything, Travis replied, his voice full of worry. She took a deep breath. It has to do with my past. You don't know everything. Travis moved closer, both interested and scared. Hey, you can tell me what it is. Remember that we're a team? She smiled a little, but not all the way to her eyes. Okay, she replied. Here we go. This is who I wasn't always, before the songs and the fame. Travis blinked, taking a short detour. What do you mean? My name, Taylor said in a voice that was almost a whisper, it's not real. It's just a fake name. Travis looked at her hard as he tried to figure out what was going on. Taylor Swift, who is the queen of pop, wasn't even her real name. Okay, he finally said, but his voice was rough. What is it then? Taylor shook her head and then blurted out, Valentina Allegro. That is my real name. Travis was shocked. No. Valentina Allegro? That voice was very different from the all-American girl picture Taylor had worked so hard to create. He wanted to know more, so he asked, and? She added, and, her voice getting stronger, I wasn't always singing about broken hearts and falling in love. I used to be a police officer in another galaxy. Travis lost his grip on the mug, and it fell to the coffee table without breaking. Hunter of Bounty? Outer Space? This was way more than he had ever thought possible. You're joking, right? He finally did it, and his voice was tinged with shock. Taylor's face became less serious. Travis, I wish I were. But it's real. I used to go on adventures through space and catch crooks all over the Andromeda galaxy. Travis thought for a moment and ran his hand through his hair. Was this some kind of silly joke? She was coming up with a new music idea? Taylor knew he wasn't sure, so she reached into her bag and took out a small, intricately engraved object. It opened up with a click, showing a hologram picture of a sleek spaceship. This is my old ship, Taylor said, sounding a little nostalgic. The light of the star. When I came to Earth, I had to leave everything behind. Travis looked at the hologram, and his thoughts went blank. When he turned around to face Taylor, the woman he loved and whose songs touched millions of people, all he saw was a bounty hunter from another world. Suddenly, there was a lot of quiet that made things seem awkward. Taylor's smile broke. So, she asked in a soft voice, what do you think? Travis knew he had to decide what to do. Did he believe her crazy story? Did it really matter? She looked into his eyes, the same eyes that had captivated him from the first time they met. He slowly smiled. Valentina, it sounds like we have a lot to catch up on. He reached out to take her hand. Taylor's face lit up with a huge smile as relief washed over her. Travis couldn't help but wonder what else this alien pop star might be hiding as he pulled her close. But there was one thing that was certain, he would never get bored with Taylor Swift, or should he say Valentina Allegro? Through the floor-to-ceiling windows in Travis Kelsey's penthouse apartment, the city of Kansas City sparkled. But on the inside, the mood was worse than a dropped touchdown pass. Travis sat across from his girlfriend, Taylor Swift, a stunned silence hanging thick between them. Taylor, normally a picture of poised elegance, was fidgeting with a stray thread on her sundress. There's something I need to tell you, Travis, she started, her voice barely a whisper. Travis, ever the optimist, leaned forward, a reassuring smile on his face. Hey, anything. You know you can tell me anything, right? She took a deep breath. It's about my past. You don't know everything. Travis's smile faltered a touch. They'd been dating for almost a year, a whirlwind romance that blossomed between award shows and training camps. 
Sure, there were some secret celebrities kept, but Travis naively believed they'd shared the important stuff. Okay, he said cautiously. What is it? Taylor blurted it out in a rush. Before the music, before the fame. I wasn't always Taylor Swift. I was. I was a pirate. Travis opened his eyes. He glanced out the window, half expecting to see a galleon docked in the Missouri River. Uh, Taylor, are you feeling alright? Maybe you're. He trailed off, searching for a delicate way to say, having a meltdown. But Taylor's eyes held a strange intensity. I know it sounds crazy, Travis, but it's true. I was Captain Tay Tay, the scourge of the seven seas. We plundered ships, searched for buried treasure, the whole swashbuckling deal. Travis pinched the bridge of his nose. This had to be some elaborate prank. Yet, there was a raw vulnerability in Taylor's eyes that convinced him she wasn't joking. Okay, he said slowly. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that you were a pirate. How did you do that? Become Taylor Swift? Taylor finished his sentence. It's a long story, but let's just say I got tired of the life, all the cutthroat competition. I dreamt of a different kind of adventure, one filled with music and lights. The next hour was a blur of outlandish tales. Taylor spoke of buried treasure maps that turned into hit songs, of epic sword fights that morphed into Grammy-winning music videos. Travis listened, his jaw slack with disbelief, a part of him wanting to call the men in white coats, another part strangely captivated by this alternate Taylor. By the time Taylor finished, the city lights twinkled like scattered diamonds. Travis, still reeling, finally spoke. So, what does this mean for us? Taylor's smile, when it came, was tentative. Honestly, Travis, I don't know. But you're the only person who knows my biggest secret. And if you can handle Captain Tay Tay, well, maybe you can handle anything. Travis stared at her, this woman he thought he knew, now shrouded in a veil of mystery. A slow grin spread across his face. You know what, Taylor? That's actually the most interesting thing anyone's ever told me. He wasn't sure what the future held, but one thing was certain, dating Taylor Swift just got a whole lot more interesting. Travis Kelsey fumbled for his phone, squinting at the 3.17am notification. And it was Taylor. An emoji, a single winking cat, sent a jolt of nervous excitement through him. He wasn't expecting her back from Nashville until tomorrow. Hey Tay, he mumbled, his voice thick with sleep. Travis, honey, can you come over? Now? Her voice was a tremor, laced with a panic that sent his heart into overdrive. Throwing on a hoodie, Travis was at her Beverly Hills mansion in record time. The manicured perfection he was used to was shattered. Lights flickered, casting long, unsettling shadows. Taylor sat on the plush white couch, a half-empty bottle of wine sweating on the coffee table. Her eyes, usually sparkling emeralds, were red-rimmed and hollow. Travis, I gotta tell you something, she began, her voice barely a whisper. Something I've never told anyone. He sat beside her, concern etching lines on his forehead. He'd seen her through award show jitters and stadium meltdowns, but this raw vulnerability was terrifyingly new. Taylor squeezed her eyes shut, then blurted, I'm not, from here. Travis opened his eyes. Was this some late-night heartbreak metaphor? What do you mean, Tay? She took a weak breath. Literally, Travis. I'm not from Earth. After that there was a beat of stunned quiet. He stared, expecting her to crack a smile, reveal it was some elaborate prank. But her face remained etched with a desperate sincerity. I crash-landed here, years ago, she continued, her voice barely a whisper. My ship is hidden. She trailed off, fear flickering in her eyes. Travis, a man who thrived on pressure, felt his grip on reality loosen. Here he was, Travis Kelsey, star tight end, listening to his pop star girlfriend claim she was an alien. Maybe the off-season workouts were getting to him. Okay, he said slowly, trying to humor her. And what are you, some kind of space princess? She started to cry. Travis, I'm serious. I have powers. Suddenly, the lights flickered and died, plunging the room into darkness.